Hello everyone, welcome back to 17 square meters garden. My name is Dominika and in today's episode I want to show you how to disinfect your pots. So the question that you might be asking yourself is why would anyone disinfect pots and is it even necessary? So let's say your plant had some sort of disease or was uh, affected by some pest. So one of the first things to do is to repot your plant into fresh soil into clean pot. And that's where disinfecting a pot is a very important part of the process. Because even if you wash your pot or even if you put a fresh soil, there is still a risk that whatever disease or pest that was, that there is still a larvae or eggs of that pest lying in that pot, be being attached to that pot. So that's why it's very important that you wash the pot really well and you disinfect it. I have my pot that I will be disinfecting today and that's the pot with another orange tree that I repotted uh, quite recently. So as you can see the terracotta pots they do get that patina on them but you see the big difference between this pot and this pot that's not looking very healthy and uh, I'm afraid that it will affect the health and the growth of that plant that's why I'm going to wash it and disinfect it. But uh, when you see something like this on your pot, uh, on your terracotta pot that's perfectly normal. That's what terracotta does. There's nothing to worry about, but this, as you can see, it's not looking very nice. So there are two ways of disinfecting pots that I know of. One is using a bleach and the other one is using a vinegar. I have used both of them in the past, they work equally well, but we will be using a vinegar method now because it's more eco-friendly. Uh, but if you were to use bleach, you would use nine parts water to one part bleach. And with vinegar, I usually use um, three parts water to one part vinegar and I'm going to show you the process right now. obviously removed my plant, I rinsed off all the soil from the pot and I scrubbed it really well. So I did that and now I'm going to submerge the pot in water, as I mentioned, three parts water to one part vinegar for about 10 minutes. I will make sure that uh, each side gets, uh, you know, each side is submerged in water so I'll be turning the pot every now and then. And after those 10 minutes I will uh, rinse it once again and I will um, wash it with a dishwash soap. and disinfected I'm going to leave it on the balcony uh, to air dry for I don't know about a day let's say it probably should take a few hours only but I leave it for a day on the balcony and then you are ready to repot it uh, either in the same pot or you can store it and use it for your other projects I should probably also mention that this disinfecting method works really well for terracotta pots and plastic pots. I wouldn't necessarily use it on any other pots. I do not have experience using it on any other pots. I believe that you should not be using it on like metal pots or any like very decorative kind of pots because uh, either bleach or vinegar could uh, definitely damage those other pots. So that's the pot that I disinfected yesterday, as you can see, it's all nice and fresh. It was as disgusting as this one uh, and it's nice and clean and dry and ready to use. And as we are already on the balcony, I will give you a little sneak peek on all the beautiful flowers. I'm going to make a video about spring garden really soon now. Look at all of those beauties. So for today's video that's going to be it. If you are interested in growing orange trees from seeds, if that's something that you would want to learn about, do let me know in the comments down below. I can totally make a video about that as well. Uh, just as a reference, those orange trees are one and a half years old. I grow them, as I said, 
from seeds. So let me know if that's something that you would want to learn about. If you enjoyed watching it, if you found it useful, I would be really happy if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you like balcony gardening and you would want to join for another adventures, uh, you are more than welcome to subscribe 17 square meters garden and to follow me on Instagram at 17 square meters garden. I'm posting daily. Uh, so anyway, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.